Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Rome 2 Total War Empire Divided as the Germanic, the German Confederation, or the Germanic Confederation. I, yeah, no, I'm never letting go of that, basically. Uh, so, massive siege battle, Battle of Trimontium. Not a very, you know, vital city, but uh, it is vital to us, goddammit. Let's go. So, um... The hell, how the hell do I proceed now? Well, I don't know. I don't know. They have a lot of cavalry. Right, that's eight units of cavalry. You with me so far, right? <laughs> no, seriously, they have eight units of cavalry. That's not very useful in siege battles, but the thing to remember is. This is also not the biggest city in the world, right? If this was the Siege of Bloody Athens, then God knows, but, you know, this is still a minor city. No matter how much they, they fortify and upgrade it, it is not that big. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Considering in these narrow streets, cavalry doesn't have the, the, the opportunity to maneuver, flank, charge most of the time or anything. I don't know, I feel somewhat optimistic. You are the exact wrong people to be handling those ladders. Let's put you two on them. Uh, I'm going to just hit this button really quickly to check the range of the enemy towers. That's... Is that the range of their towers? That, that's not a lot. Yeah, that is the range of their towers. Alright. So... I wish this would go down until the reinforcements actually made it in. But that's fine. Um... Ballistas at, like, it is like a little bit of a hill here. There is, there is a hill here, you know, we could put them... Ah, it's not Empire Total War, you know, they're not cannons, you can just put them however you want, basically. Germanic warriors. It's, it's, a, it's a habit from Empire Total War to put Order. artillery on, like, high ground so they can fire from, like, at, at that sort of arc, and that's way more effective than having them... Obviously in a ditch somewhere, but having them at, at flat land as well. Um, Thing is, we're not really going anywhere just yet. Um, archers, have you? Well, that's a bit. Now let's invert this. Actually, the entire episode dedicated just to this battle. It's it's fine. Fine. I'm not. Rushing anywhere. There's no need to make bad decisions that will perhaps even lose you the back. Right, there is no need to be doing any of that. Let's uh, focus properly on the job, yeah? Alright. Uh, do I want to attack from this direction or do I want to attack from over here? I want to attack from over here, don't I? So, yeah, there is a way to quickly move everything over, though, don't worry. There we go. No, wait, in this direction. So, two over there, two over there. Right. There we go. Uh, just make sure that you do that. We've merged one into another when we were doing this, which is exactly ideal. Next, the archers, like so. Next, the siege equipment, like so. General to uh, sort of observe everything and. Uh, I don't know, make harsh criticism or something. And cavalry for, you know, gotcha. God forbid we actually need it, but uh, it will be there. 
All right, uh, range of hip, same. All right, regular rocks. We'll, we'll use explosive lot of rocks on the infantry. We'll use regular rocks to take out the towers. Our reinforcements have arrived. The question is, what do I fire on? What do you, what do you want to sort of fire on? On your own, you know? Well, you don't really know, do you? Now, in, in your infinite wisdom, you decided to put pikemen on the walls. Where they cannot use... That is correct. They're pikes. So you know what? You don't have a lot of ammo. I think is it worth it to take out the, the towers? It is. It is. We'll take out these. We'll take out the two towers. Oh, God. I swear that's not what I meant. I. All right. Sorry, I'm getting arrested. No, bye. <laughs> oh, the things I say. It's. It's fa You know what? Sod no. Sod no. It is factually correct. I will take out the two towers. It's not. The, the two towers. It's just, you know, two towers that are there. Think of the two towers from the Lord of the Rings. Hold on, I think we're on to something. Get the conspiracy theory music playing. We are on to something. <laughs> um... Get into position. That's pretty much your entire army, right? You're all just melee and skirmisher troops. Which is fine. We love you for it. Don't worry. You Are you seriously not going to be able to take out the two towers? It's quite annoying when that happens, I assure you. Um... Nope. Evidently not. Oh, do they share the... Nope. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You failed to take out the two towers. One of our units. So what you've done is basically squat, right? You are a waste. Well, you've killed a few archers, and that's about it. The hell do I do now? I can retreat everything. How anticlimactic will that be? But you know, maybe even I would if I took out one of them. <laughs> I'll go back in next turn. Oh, yeah, literally next turn. Take out the other one and then go on through. But yeah, all right. So who's there? Knock knock. Who's there? Uh oh. Right. Um. So there's no cohorts in this, uh, in this part of the engagement, shall we say. You know, in that case, they will bleed for you in that case. God help them. It's alright. All you need to do is take the walls. The other army will take over when you take the walls. That's my plan. And we'll end up with two utterly depleted armies, exhausted and... Uh, without much in the way of will to live, but we'll end up with two armies nonetheless. I don't want to look at the casualties. I'm, I'm looking away from the screen. I don't want to look at the casualties that happen.
No, I just, I really just don't. Oh, why am I so terrible at Siege? <laughs> this is actually the, well, you know, apart from the tower failure, it's actually more or less the correct thing to do, I mean, all things considered, but... They've actually taken a shockingly low amount of casualties. Please tell me we're going to actually make it on the... Yes! 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 Stop! The burning of the ladder! I'm not sure how safe that is. You are scaling what is a burning ladder. I'm really not sure what to think about the entire health and sa safety situation that's going on over here. Do you know what? I do know what to think about. Well, even then, like, we have reserve archers, so... Knock yourselves out. Your job, at this point, is to take the, the, the walls. And you are not interested in anything else. Wrong ladder, wrong ladder, wrong ladder, wrong ladder. We're not using that ladder anymore. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Go, 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 come on. 89 out of 120. Jesus Christ, we are getting massacred. Now, by the way, there's plenty of stuff waiting for us down, apparently. Yep, there is a... There are... The, okay, this is just going to slow down everything. This, I mean, this is probably one of the nicest sights I will I will get to see in this siege. They're expecting the, the gate to go down, and they're, they're prepared for it. All right, look at this. God, how can you not, how can you not love Romans? Look at that. Ah. Oh. Gorgeous. Reminds me of the scene from um, The Eagle of the Ninth. Is that the name of the movie? It's the name of the book. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That's the name of the movie. One of those books that actually made me. Um... Uh, this is going to sound really dumb. And I'm. You know. Being fully aware of just how dumb this sounds, it made me think was one of our units was written all its ammunition. after or before the movie. Tools! It's actually remarkably close to what actually happened in the movie. Why are you doing that? You can't. Don't. All right, you know, save yourself Get the embarrassment. On fire. Okay. How are we doing in general? Eh? Not too badly, not too badly, huh? Well, tell you what, tell you how we're doing. We're doing a lot better than we were in the previous siege, but that's mainly due to the fact that we're now fighting their archers. Couple of pikemen here and there, mainly archers. Pikemen facing the wrong direction as well. Ah, uh, alright. That does make a lot of sense. One of our units has used all its ammunition. When will one of their units use all their ammunition? You understand what I'm saying, right? Now what on earth was that? It's horse archers apparently. Dragonauts. Oh, it's that's, that's the entire army up up there, right? You can't like do the same thing they're doing, right? This is like a new world to me.
This is... It's... It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. This is like a, a whole new world to me. What on earth is this? You can actually do that. You can fire over this. The entirety of the... You'd think the point of the wall, you know, the wall needs to be higher. You make fun of that statement all you want. A certain someone said it. Make fun of that statement all you want. It's completely factually true. The wall needs to be higher. One of our units has used all its ammunition. The insufficient height in the wall is the cause of all our problems at this stage. That has nothing to do with migration. Immigration or emigration. Nothing to do with that. It's just to do with the fact that... Well, well, yes it has. It has to do with the migration of the arrows. Not the Arabs, the arrows. Right? From one end to the other. Because that is... Well, that is what amounts to a massacre. Um, the archers can pull out, though. Political commentary and, and, and all that aside. The archers can pull out. So, have you taken over? But I swear to God, I thought that was muskets firing there for a second. I was like, what am I playing? Advanced civilization and all that, but muskets? <laughs> Alright, tell you what. You need to start attacking these cohorts or something. Leave like one unit behind to attack them. You can still focus on that lot. But you need to go through and you need to start killing the, the Romans down here. Yes, glorious. Air, air, yes, excellent, yes. I'm assuming the vast majority of my troops are going to die down here. That's fine, though. That is fine. Open the gate, and you'll get relieved. Sound like a relief effort. What is going on with the pikemen? I swear to God, what is going on with this? Do you know how to approach and kill them? Warriors! Clearly not. Okay, thank you. This thing has oil, right? No, it doesn't. Get ready to... Get in there, basically. The men are wavering. Sons of Wodan, my ass. Wodan is looking at you right now and going, "What the fuck have I done?" Look at this. Look at this. I know. Okay, this looks terrifying on on walls. Yes. This is absolutely terrifying on walls. They weren't doing that a minute ago, though. They were doing something very, very different. They were doing this. Now, there was 50 of them a couple of minutes ago. There's 40 of them now. How long does it take? So, by the time it took the Romans to kill my entire army down here, yeah, you managed to kill five dudes with spears. There's something horribly, horribly wrong about what's happening here. Not quite sure what, but there is something horribly Our wrong. Flee the field of battle. Let them flee, just this don't let them die. Display. Put everyone like, like that, basically. There you go. Go through the gate now. Go through the through the gate now. You can you can go through the, the gate through the through the gate the big. 
door, the big door thing. You can go through the, the big door thing. You don't want to go through the big door thing. Okay. That's, that's fine. It's like they really don't want to go through the big door thing. We broke the pikemen. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. How the hell am I going to go through that is an entirely different question, which I'm not prepared to ask or answer at this stage. Explain to me why you can't simply push him out of the way. I understand that they're sort of shoving back, but that close to the edge... Alright, 60 pikemen are holding back several thousand Germanic warriors. That makes sense. Expected them to fight hard. I expected this to be a tough battle. I did not expect the fucking... Leonidas and the Braid 300 on the walls up here. We're not even in Greece. We're in Macedonia. What are you doing? Like I said, let them flee. Just don't let them get butchered. That's right, one at a time, let's go. It's just a mosh bit at this point, this makes no sense. It makes no sense trying to make sense of any of this, it's just... It's just a giant no. Also, if you could not just... Oh, never mind. <sighs> I was going to say, if you could not just jerk my camera every time I click something, I want to actually remotely look at the battle. Stabby, 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 stabby. This... Cue the Benny Hill theme, I swear to God. You lot have earned your have earned your have earned your we haven't taken the gate yet. We have captured a tower. As I was saying, you've earned your rest. What is essentially Army Group 1. Set up like so. Well, we are in no rush. Anyway. I have a mix of swords and spears and axes there. That's the first entire unit that has perished. Right? Please let that be the case. Yes, I know they're missing over here, but I'm pretty sure they've just retreated. No, I'm not. But one can hope, okay? All I have in these dark times. A vague hope.
Yes, glorious. Glorious arrows falling from the heavens. Excellent, excellent. Really, just really excellent. Finally, a chance to use some of the ammunition. Glorious. Truly magnificent, yes. Oh, yeah, then move, move the cavalry in, yeah. Totally move the cavalry in. That's that's what you're supposed to do. Our hidden units have been discovered. You don't have any hidden units as a siege. Our hidden units have been discovered. Yeah, I wonder where the enemy is. Hey, you can't take hide in the city, but I mean, come on. Our hidden units have been discovered. We've been moving in one giant blob this entire battle. What? Where do you think we're gonna be? No! All right. Time to do damage control. Um, these look like they survived. Some of them. But wouldn't know. They look like some of them survived. Could be worse. Could be a hell of a lot worse. Um, so what did you lose? You lost one unit of longbowmen. Oh, we're gonna have to do the re-recruitment next time. Um, yeah. Fine. All right. Fine. Next turn. Um, what's this? Oh, I like you. Don't like you. Don't know. Uh, could I have done much better? I don't know, attacking on two sides maybe would have been better. Like attacking on, on in two different places at the same time. Maybe? I don't know. The shield ball is always stronger when product. Not necessarily that anything went wrong, you know, so... They we're serving rotten food to people, there's a plague over here and... No, oh, just don't even. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, <laughs> tell you where to begin with the uh, recruitment. As, a te as tempting a target as that is, uh, no. So. This army, then, has lost the most. Some three Germanic swordsmen, if I'm correct. And one unit, let's give you one unit of longbow hunter as well. And upgrade this lot as well. Um, now you lost one unit of... Ah, uh, but never mind, not yet. We'll upgrade that, upgrade that, and that should be enough. I'll wait for the Mineral Springs, they're just better in this situation over here. Um, do that one. Okay. Where's that legion that was uh, around here? There you are, the third one. The third one. Well, you know, not exactly a common way of uh, addressing it, but yes, the third one. Third legion of Illyrica. Hmm. Remarkably experienced person. Remarkably experienced. Alright, next turn. Ooh, that was a battle and a half. I find myself at a lack of things to say when, it, when it's, you know, it's all said and done. I, I'm contemplating whether it could have uh, gone 
a lot better or a lot worse. And I'm, I'm sort of, I don't know, I'm sort of caught in between them. I don't, I, I don't think there's much that could have been done that differently to, uh, change the entire situation. Troubled populace Macedonia. Bah, that's a, that's a good thing because they were more than troubled previously. Yes. Um, so you're going to sit there for now and, and replenish losses. You're going up north to deal with the... Uh, honestly, with nothing. Like, I was gonna send you north, but at this stage, what are you going north? Because the Buri are already on the case with Bosfer. Welcome! The Cardi... Greetings, friend! The Vandali, Welcome. no. These Welcome. guys, no. Langabadi... Greetings, friend. No. I join in like a confederation with you, and just, just laugh. Your just and undoubtedly noble requests. A laugh for the next several days. And you, okay. So you, in in that size, which is slightly bigger than my empire. Okay, relative. Uh, they're actually smaller, but, you know, almost my size. You are a client state under this lot. Interesting. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? Well, yes. <laughs> rather interesting. We put two ballistas in this army? Sure, let's put two ballistas in this army. Um, there has got to be... There isn't. Some ammunition tech, but I don't think there is. Hmm. Okay. Let's go with agricultural focus next, because uh, I don't want to be left without food. That's no, it's just terrible, terrible. And in the next few turns, we'll be moving into Asia Minor. Tell you what, considering the length of that battle, um, I think it's it's fair. We call it uh, we call it here. The gods speak through Defensive thunder and storms, but they tell us to ally with you if you will have us. War on the Varini. You know what? Yes. Uh, stop the adoption. Ooh, speaking of adoptions. You're 20. I kind of like you. Mm. Nah, no. No, because that will... Uh... Okay, that's better. Secure a promotion for you. I can't secure a promotion for myself. I can't secure a promotion for, me, for you, though. Diplomat Administrator. There we go.
Ah. See, I haven't done this before. Sent out administrators or, uh... This, but... Let's do it. Let's do it. Um... Organize feast there. No. Do that. Administrator over there. Now. Also. Need to take a look at the loyalty of these guys. Hmm. Secure their loyalty for, uh, for the next few turns. Play around with that a little bit. Yeah. Now that leaves them with enough money to recruit. We're looking for axes, swords, spears as well. Um, instead of one of the. Uh... Instead of these guys, let's get another one of the spearmen. There you go. Okay, um, change this, change that one later, and reconsider about you, right? That's that's what I, I should also do. Because there's nothing for you up north. No, nope. realistically speaking, no. Um, see, this point where I could send you is in this general direction. As like a, a preemptive measure against maybe getting attacked from this side, but where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in being prepared to be backstabbed by the Romans? Where's the fun in that? That's not fun. It's not fun at all. Instead, let's blindly believe everyone to the left, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Just, just wait for things to happen. <laughs> Your people's reputation would you like to... Sorry, no, would you like to trade with me? Find a you would, excellent. Jupiter be praised. Let him bless you. So, we're moving into Asia Minor, then. With two armies. Yeah, yeah. Jokes aside. We'll move into Asia Minor with two armies. And I'll send the third one over there. Does that sound fair? That sounds fair to me. Um, but I'll recruit a fourth one as well, though. Yeah, I'll need to get on that, too. Recruiting a fourth one. And we'll send it over to, uh, towards Asia Minor as well. Because that's where most of the fighting is going to be happening for the rest of eternity. Essentially. But a full 20 stack to the west, just in case, you know, something happens. They're going to be there just to buy time, to all intents and purposes. I do the toll with the old... Alright, tell you what, that's enough for this episode, though. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, have fun, take care, and uh, I'll see you next time. And like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video, and I'll stay tuned with the rest of the series, of course, as always. Bye-bye.